What's going on everybody, it's JRPG Enthusiast here, Shadow Elite, back again with another video, and this is JRPG News. I haven't done a segment of JRPG News in a while, but we got some news that we can share with you guys. Or I have some news I can share with you guys, I don't know why I said we. Anyway, the first thing we got here is we got information on Final Fantasy XV. Besides it being delayed, you know, it got had the September release date and now has November release date. Okay, big deal, two months, nobody really cares. Well, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal, two more months after 10 years, whatever. Anyway, we got a little bit of an insight on the game's structure. The um, director, Tapada, he has said, and I quote, For Final Fantasy XV, we put we put in both open world parts and linear parts to make up the game's full structure. The first half is a continuous open world, but the second half is story driven and progresses linearly. By doing this, the entire game is tightened so that the open world doesn't get tiring. And so that you can also get a taste of traditional Final Fantasy progression. If we assume you'll play only the main route to the first and second halves, it'll take about 40 to 50 hours. Now this pretty much sounds like Final Fantasy 13 but in reverse and I believe most of the Final Fantasies did go open world first and then you pretty much had to go to the um, main story towards the end of the game. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 you had Midgar the first 10-12 hours and then it was pretty much open world. And well, Final Fantasy VII was pretty much open world, so that's a that's a bad example. But I guess it's okay, so people won't say in the beginning of the game that oh, it's still linear, we're still going from point A to point B to point C to point D, and blah blah blah. But now people can actually have stuff to do in the beginning of the game, in the middle of the game, so they won't complain. I'm sure they took the criticisms to Final Fantasy XIII to heart, and they're not making it completely and utterly linear. But it'll be kind of interesting if you get towards a, I guess, depending on how or how um late game it gets that you can't just go back to different areas and just um you know maybe grind or get um extra equipment if there's any, any anything like that in the game but uh yeah i mean it it seems like it's um final fantasy 15 is shaping up to be uh, a good game at the very least my hype level it's uh it's in check i i'm not, I'm not gonna say it's not there but it's it's in check it's almost non-existent but it's in check so I'm looking forward to Final Fantasy 15 to see how it turns out. Again, like I said in my other video addressing the delay, I don't want the game to be bad. I, I really don't. I, I don't want the game to come out and people are just ragging on it and just getting on it and just completely destroying it in reviews. I want this game to be good. Okay, I, I, I don't want to, to see that this game is a, a overall failure, you know? And maybe it won't live up to the hype because of all the, all the years that passed by, but hey, Square Enix, you kind of dug yourself into that hole. Next up, we have some information of Valkyria Azure Revolution, the sequel, oh not the sequel, I'm sorry, the spinoff to the Covenant, the uh, critically acclaimed, the I would say underrated and should be properly put more in mainstream light Valkyria Chronicles series. We got some information on this game and it's going to be releasing for the PS4 and the PlayStation Vita on January 19th in Japan. Actual gameplay will be showed at Tokyo Game Show with a demo being available there and the attendees who are lucky enough to go to Tokyo Game Show. Seriously, if anybody knows how to get me into Tokyo Game Show, you know, hook a brother up. Anyway, we'll also get a downloadable code for the battle demo. The new demo that will showcase new gameplay, or not new gameplay, rather a completely overhauled gameplay because the first battle demo that they released was not received well by fans and they were just completely unsatisfied with it and they took the feedback and they are they said they have come out and said that they will change it so that's good that's really good that's the um, fans voicing our opinion on something and developers taking it to heart and changing it up hopefully they change it to something good and it's not something completely stupid like with the first battle demo jesus christ i i didn't like it at all because it didn't feel like Valkyria Chronicles, and some of you will argue it's a spin-off, so it doesn't have to feel like Valkyria Chronicles. It's the own game. It's called Valkyria as a resolution, Shadow. What the hell? Well, that's not what we want. It's been too freaking long since Valkyria Chronicles 3 released way back when. I don't even know, 2009, 2010? I, I, I don't know. And the PSP didn't come out over here. I had to take a fan translation patch for me to play the damn game. And I've also reviewed Valkyria Chronicles 3. I'll leave a link in the description. I don't know if you, if you care. But, 
okay we don't want them to change it up we want a new Valkyria Chronicles game we didn't ask for this sequel we want it because it's a Valkyria game of course but we want the same gameplay we've come to know and love over the years only improved if you want to change it up to make it something better make sure it's better make sure it's something that we're going to do to like because again with that original demo nobody liked it all right the majority of people didn't like it rather and i didn't like it either so i didn't care for it at all so uh yeah sega don't fuck this up you hear me look at me sega look at me in, in the screen okay all right don't fuck it up even though you can't see my face but yeah don't fuck up so that's all I have for this segment of JRPG news. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about Final Fantasy 15 structure and what do you think about Valkyria Chronicles as a resolution. I'm sorry, Valkyria as a revolution. And if you think the gameplay that they showed before with the demo was great, if you liked it, because I really want to know that. And or if you hated the gameplay, you hated that demo that was released earlier, and you can't wait for them to showcase what they have new if they rehauled it or not. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.